Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I want to do a tutorial on how to run Urban AI Whisper model on AMD GPU. So I introduced uh, the Whisper like in my previous video. So this time I want to show you how to use AMD GPU to run this model right on your own computer. So let's uh, go to the GitHub repo for Re Whisper. There's a documentation, there's some introduction. You will need uh, to install the OpenAI-Whisper library. So you will need to use the Python virtual environment. You will also need to have PyTorch installed. So make sure that you have those. So for example, in my case, uh, yeah, I have Torch 1.13.1 installed. Yeah, so this this is the uh, command I'm gonna use. So in Ubuntu, you would also need uh, to make sure that uh, there's a dependency package installed called uh, FFMPG. So it also depends on like which operating system you are using. So if you are using Linux Ubuntu, you use this uh, command. If you are using other operating system, yeah, you also need to install those. So after the installation, you will need to uh, there are several options that you can use. You can use the command line directly, or you can use it as a Python, use it like a library. So you can import uh, the Whisper package within your Python console, and then you will load the model. You can then transcribe uh, the audio. So in this case, I will try both. So in the whisper, so this is the command line. And this is the Python console. All right, we see that we installed uh, the whisper package successfully. Now let's ensure that we have the dependency package installed. So yeah, we see that we already have that installed. So I already downloaded uh, the podcast. I will use it uh, to do a quick test. So let's uh, let's. Uh, change our directory to this uh, working directory. And then we can use whisper directly. Uh, we will use the, the base model because base model is very like efficient to run. It only requires about uh, one gigabyte of GPU VRAM and it's very fast. So we'll use the base. And the file name is, uh, we need to ensure that uh, we have the correct uh, file name, including the file extension. And in this case, we ensure that uh, everything is in place and then we can start uh, the transcribing testing. Let's try that. 
and I will, I will open the GPU monitoring dashboard. We do see that uh, it's needed to download the model, so it uh, will take a while. It's about uh, 139 gigabytes. Right. And this is a monitoring for the system. So I think in the, in the first round, we need to download some, uh, some like models. But uh, from the second round, if it already have those model catched, so it will not uh, download it. Yeah, we see that uh, right now it just started uh, the running. It's uh, detected uh, the language as English, and uh, it uh, created a window of about uh, five seconds. For each uh, window, it will able to transcribe uh, the audio into the text. So I think it works uh, pretty amazing. And uh, we see the utilization for the GPU is around the, uh, can, be, can be like 99%. Yeah, so this is the uh, live uh, transcribing, so I think it works uh, pretty well. Yeah, all right, I will stop here for demo purpose. So as, as we can see that, uh, so this is very easy to use. You simply install the package and then you like modify your command based on your uh, file name. So then it is able to make it uh, like like transcribe uh, like the, your audio. So let's, uh, Secondly, let's try the other way. Use it as a Python library that you can import. So we, we will enter our Python console and uh, we will import uh, Whisper. We load our model, which is the base. And then we, we can transcribe the audio. And make sure that uh, your f file name is uh, exactly as in your file system. So you have uh, uh, you have the file name and the correct uh, extension. So it can be either .mp3 or .wav or in this case .wmpga. All right, and in this case we can start uh, uh, the command and uh, we will take a look at uh, our GPU monitoring dashboard here, utilization and uh, the VRAM usage. So in this case, VRAM is about uh, one gigabyte. Utilization is around uh, 60 to 99%. So in, in this case, it's not uh, a stream. 
So once it's completed, uh, we will we can able to print everything. All right, we see that uh, the command has been completed. We now can print our text. Wow, it works uh, really great. And uh, since we already have the result, you can do whatever you want. You can save it to file. You can even just print it. You can read. If it's useful, you can decide uh, what to do next. So here is one example that you can write uh, the results to a file called uh, transcribe.txt. So let's uh, try it. OK, we see that uh, it successfully written like uh, this much of uh, characters into the file. Yeah, so let's uh, open the file to take a look. Yeah, we see that uh, the results has been printed out here, saved here. So then I think it look, looks pretty nice. OK. Uh, yeah, so that's uh, basically it. I think it's very simple to use. And it works perfectly for AMD GPU. I haven't just do a benchmark on the speed because I think it's fast enough. So please give it a try and let me know if you have any questions. I think this is a, a great uh, open source library from Open AI. So I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.